Hey viewers, I'm at a job in Quince Rocks. We've got a burnt out isolator up on the roof, DC isolator, which I'm going to replace. Can't see it, I just see the top of it. But a um, couple of key problems here. This poor old inverter is getting a fair bit of sunlight. It's not too bad, that house would be sheltering it for quite a lot. But in summer, they'd be getting a lot of heat, obviously exposed to the weather screen's a little bit faded it's not too happy always make sure your inverter is installed in a sheltered area the other thing I've picked up on is they've put all the panels on the east when they could very easily have put them on the west also capturing all that afternoon Sun but no they did it the easy way and put them all on the east because it's a nice big easy roof layout so uh, east west is always best in Perth um, so you can capture all that sunlight and uh, be making good power in the morning and good power in the afternoon and reduce your load from the grid and save you money there's our rooftop isolator that's obviously either got water in it or a bad connection has caused it to catch fire and have a bit of a meltdown uh, so regular viewers that know we don't actually need rooftop isolators anymore and uh, we don't use them for this very reason um, these started quite a few fires and the problem was not actually having an isolator on the roof but the way they were installed they were getting water in them so you got a water entry point here uh, from the conduits not being glued probably and also there on the mating surface on the gland there they've used tech screws just to secure it to the side of the panel and also if they're just cheap shitty isolators the plastic will crack and obviously you'll get water in that way this one's still functioning doing what it should a lot of these are actually recalled too um, if you google on um, if you do an, an internet search on recalled DC isolators uh, you can find out which ones have been recalled but the thing is this would still be live and be a lot of voltage there uh, so that cable there will be live and that cable there will be live see I've worded that incorrect only one of those will be live the other one is our negative um, so yeah you've got to be pretty bloody careful and we'll get that replaced get it fixed up and running so I'm just um, trying to make this safe so that I can work on it and uh, disconnecting some of the MC4 plugs here and as I'm looking under the panel I'm thinking what the hell's that? Oh, look at this How's that? That's their flume That's a roof vent from the bathroom or something like that Alright So They've just cut it off. The solar guys have literally just cut it off so that they can get the solar panels on. Why they've bothered even putting that back on, I don't know. Because it's obviously not going to get any rain in it now. But yeah, it's just lazy as. And again, if they'd put the panels on the east side, they wouldn't have had that issue. They would have had plenty of roof space to do it all properly. Really shitty install no gap between the panels for expansion none of the cables have been clipped properly or they're all just lying on the roof yeah 700 volts on this string here dc now back in the day we could only do 600 volts dc maximum on a residential install so they've gone uh, well beyond that um, and that's uh, a major concern so in the process of testing this one, 
Uh, I didn't know what was positive and negative up on the roof, so I've done my terminations. I thought if I've got it wrong, I'll change it down here at the isolator. And uh, as I've checked the polarity, I've discovered this. Uh, and that, that, that's the isolator for the string that was burnt out. So this one was still working, and it's only, only a matter of time until it um, possibly uh, went up like the one on the roof there. And uh, again, that'll probably just be because it hasn't been terminated properly. It was probably loose, and over time it's uh, been a hot joint, and then that just escalates as it gets hotter. The resistance gets higher, and then it gets hotter, resistance gets higher, and eventually it'll either stop making contact or it'll catch fire. Um, so I'm gonna have to replace that one too. Righto, that's all sorted. I've replaced that DC isolator. Uh, that one was okay. The inverter's humming away nicely. You can hear it there. It's quite a noisy one. They're not always that noisy. Uh, what are we making? 7,075 watts thereabouts. Uh, this system will make really good power in the morning, um, but not not that good in the afternoon, that's for sure, which is a real shame. If they'd spread those panels out, it would have been much better. That's me. I operate in Perth, West Australia. If you need any solar repairs or any solar and battery related stuff, I can help you out with that. I do a lot of fix-ups on battery systems which have been installed, which don't work. And uh, you can see here, what I've actually done is I've removed the isolator and done a disconnection point instead. Um, yeah, technically you probably shouldn't do that. You can't have a mix of DC isolators and disconnection points on a new installation. Um, but uh, it's definitely the better way to go and a lot safer. So that's how I've done it. Um, definitely safer better for everyone but yeah technically possibly not quite right uh, but it is an older system so hey doesn't really matter so long as it's safe that is the main thing here you can see all the old cable ties in the roof that they've used to secure the cables in the gutter sorry so um, I'm not allowed to use plastic cable ties because they just go brittle and snap and then uh, what happens is all the cables just end up lying on the roof and then you can get those uh, isolation errors where you get water ingress so as you can see they're all just lying in the gutter there all along and the cables are all now lying on the roof uh, which may give them some problems in the future not sure if you can see them there there they are all on the roof terrible install not sure what they were doing there that's definitely not great Anyway, it's all up and running now. It's all safe. Cheers.